24 degrees this morning. We're parked here. We're going to do the Anders Run Trail clockwise. So we're going to go down like this, and then a little bit of a road walk, and then like so. Now there's a, you see there's a cutoff trail here, but we're going to go around the long loop, and then uh, come back here. I think the trail is only about two miles, marked by yellow blazes. Are we ready to take a break? Maybe a little later. So this is the Anders Run Trail. In the Anders Run Natural Area, a tract of the Corn Planter State Forest in Pennsylvania. It's another beautiful day in Pennsylvania with snow on the ground. So it looks like we're already coming down to the road. We'll take a left and look for the continuation of the trail on our right somewhere. All right, here we come to the end of our little road walk. Take a hard right and the trail continues. I assume this is Xander's run that we get to walk alongside now. So we see blazing that way, and also blazing that way. So I guess that's the cutoff trail. We'll go this way. And now we've lost the blazing. So maybe when you get to the end of the bridge, you're supposed to take a left. Maybe the trail cuts back this way and takes us on the other side of this ridge right here or along the top of it or something. But I don't see any blazing going the way we're going. Here's a blaze right here that I missed. So I guess we do go this way. Aha, there's blazing down there. And then I guess that's an arrow. Sorta of looks like an arrow. So as I suspected, we climb up on this ridge above Anders Run.
Here we are now above Anders Run. And there's a bench here if you wanted to enjoy the view, but you wouldn't be from there you wouldn't be able to see down to the water, really. Over there I see a footbridge going across it. So I assume we'll be making our way down there. Um, we uh, came along here and then just now switch back this way. So I guess we have to wind our way down the uh, side of the bluff here, I assume with some switchbacks, and then I guess we'll end up down there. Can't see exactly how that happens, but I guess we're gonna find out. So the trail does have some switchbacks on it, which is nice. And uh, it's actually a little more demanding than I anticipated. And in some places, a lot of roots in the trail, which are wet today because of the snow. But uh, well-maintained trail and has some nice bridges on it and such. There are a couple of signs that say trail that are down that need to be put back up. But other than that, maintenance is pretty good. Also, just uh, beyond Anders Run, up above there, you see the road, which is Allegheny Springs Road. So I think over there is probably where we cross it and then head back east to do the other half of the trail. So as you can see, here is another switchback. And it looks like we're coming to another one and we go this way and then maybe that way as well. So yeah, I do appreciate the switchbacks. Oh, there are also, uh, I've seen at least two benches along the trail. Three, I guess, because there was the one just after we started. And it doesn't look like they're all placed, you know, to face some impressive view. It looks like maybe some of them are just there. Maybe they're just here at intervals so that you can rest. Okay, coming down to this bridge, I see. All right, so you cross the road, take a right, just do a little dogleg here, and find the continuation of the trail here. Easiest, it says. Okay, well, I expected the trail might be a little milder in this half because Anders Run is not on this side of the road. So, I guess just a little stroll through the woods here and Probably not much elevation change. Won't be long before we are back to the Silver Streak. Wrapping up today's brief hike. So here's another bench. And like I say, they're not placed for scenery because here's your view. Oh, I guess we have to climb a little bit to get up there. No, we don't have to go up there. We go this way along this nice flat path. And if you were coming from the other direction, as you can see, there's a sign pointing you to the left. Okie doke, let's cruise. We do get to cross this little tributary of Anders Run. Flowing south, that's not a blaze on that tree. The trail does not go that way. These aren't blazings on those trees either. They are marking uh, perhaps the boundary of the natural area. And then beyond that boundary, perhaps is private property. As you can see, the trail goes here. Another little footbridge. Check out this beast 
of a hemlock right here that is mostly debarked. Looks like we're coming down to the road here. So on that northern half of the trail, you can see the road pretty much all the time to the south of you. Yeah, so we have wrapped up the Anders Run Trail. Now I'm gonna say uh, easiest, not really, okay? Even uh, this northern part of the trail, it's not just a flat cruisy path. Um, there are some ups and downs in there where it's a little strenuous. So, old dude was feeling the burn in the in the thighs, okay? Uh, so, you know, really easiest, uh, I would put it the level above. If you're just looking for a nice stroll, that's not really it. But, you know, this is Pennsylvania. We don't have a lot of easy trails. It's really hard to find one. So, as PA trails go, I'd say it's sort of par overall a little more strenuous than I expected but very pretty with snow on the ground for sure and it's a really nice trail I imagine it gets a lot of use in the summertime and there's a bench about every three tenths of a mile if you're one who might be inclined to take a rest that often then this is a good trail for you and we're just going to add some comments to the register here on this new sheet I'm the first one to sign in Well, thanks for coming out here to join me today. Old dude signing off. We'll see you on the next adventure.